15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you! Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain! Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes.
The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb.
Incredible. You found Vile's recipe. That there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate then. Please, find the ingredients that the Pazatonic Fire describes, and do so before.